Good morning, this is Susan, and this is Susan's ramblings. This happened to be my fourth try. I don't know if we'll make it or not. Today, my recipes were concerned cleansers and soaps. This one is Barb's Laundry Soap. This lady is about 90 years old. She's used this recipe for years and years. She loves it. And it is an alternative to your liquid soaps that you can buy, detergents that you can buy, washing detergents. One bar of Felnessa Napa, or she says you can use the Zolt bar too. One and a half cups of Arm & Hammer washing soda, not baking soda, washing soda. One and a half cups of Borax, two cups of OxyClean, it's genetic. You grate the bar of Fels Napa, you melt the grated Fels Napa in two cups of water. You cook stirring seldom until melted. Pour five cups of hot tap water into a five gallon bucket. Add the borax, the washing soda, and the oxyclean. Stir together. Add the melted Fels Napa bar and stir well. Fill the bucket with hot tap water. Stir well. Put the lid on the bucket. The soap will swell up and gel. Leave lid on for 24 hours. Stir well and pour into containers, ice cream bucket, or save detergent bottles. Like I said, she's been using this one for years and she loves it. That's a liquid one. Bathroom cleansers. This is the one I use all the time. I use it all over the place, in fact, not just the bathroom. White vinegar and blue dawn, that's all you need. Fill your spray bottle half full with white vinegar. Fill your second half of the bottle with blue dawn. Gotta be blue dawn or it won't work. Shake well until the ingredients are fully incorporated. To use, spray the surface. You wait 10 to 15 minutes and you wipe down. This can be used on all surfaces of the bathroom, your tub, shower, toilet, and sinks. The vinegar smell will disappear after it has dried. The key here is to wait and let it do its work. It won't work if you just take it, spray it, and wipe it right off. It has to work. It has to give it time to work, but it works fine. It takes off scale. It takes off lime scale. It bathroom, uh, tub, ring, whatever you call that. Anyway, it's a great cleanser. Glorious laundry soap. This is the the um, I know what you call it. Um, powdered. There we go. This is the powdered soap. Laundry soap. This lady lives in Glo in uh, Tennessee, and she's like me. She will, if you can make it, we'll make it instead of buying one box box of super washing soda, which would be about just your arm and hammer, I believe. One box of borax, one box of pure baking soda. That's you, your baking soda, not just washing soda, but baking soda. Three bars of Fels Napa, ivory, or soap soap. One container of OxyClean. Optional, Perex Twisters, or Downy Unstoppable for scent. You finally grate the um, bar soap and mix all ingredients together and store in a covered container. She said you can use an ice cream bucket and mix one fourth of the soap, then add to the large bucket. Then put the lid on the bucket and roll it around until the ingredients are well incorporated. Uh, it says you can also buy soap free, free something, free grated or soap flakes, and to use only one to two tablespoons per load. She says it works. She uses it all the time. Okay? She has no problems with her washer. Barb stain remover. This is a lady that's 80 years old and she's also used this one for years. Three fourths cup water, two squirts blue dawn, one fourth cup peroxide. Combine all the ingredients, mix it well, and place it in a spray bottle. She uses this instead of shout out. She says she uses it a lot more now because since she's had her stroke because she had no control over her arms or arm, one arm and it sometimes it makes for sloppiness and so she ends up with more um 
stains than what she usually had. Usually had. So this is what she uses to remove her stains. This one, Bob Fabric Softener. I have used this one for years. This also comes from the lady who's 80 years old with this stroke. Three cups of white vinegar, two cups of hair conditioner. And you pick your own fragrance and you take it from the dollar store. You don't need a bit, uh, an expensive one, just use the cheapies. Six cup of hot tap water. You combine all ingredients and you beat with an egg beater. The old fashioned kind until the lumps are all gone. I don't think I used an egg beater. I don't think I have an egg beater. I did something anyway into the uh, ice cream bucket until uh, the lumps were all gone. Probably used a spoon and it probably took forever. But anyway, it lasts forever too. You put it in an uh, ice cream bucket and place three or four sponges in the container. Allow the sponges to soak up the liquid. And to use, you squeeze out a sponge and put it in the dryer with your clothes. Keep a towel on top of the container to wipe your hands off after retrieving a sponge. I've used this one for years. They use it out at the motel all the time. It works great. That's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.